No, you are not at the remake of Ghostbusters. You are still at Rodin Schwartz. What you see here on my back is our offering to infrastructure vendors and network operators to do 5G coverage measurements indoors, to do walk testing in hotels, conference centers, uh, stadiums. You see here my antenna that covers uh, all the way the sub six gigahertz frequency range. Uh, on top of my head, there on this little mass, you see a millimeter wave uh, antenna that covers the millimeter wave frequency bands. And the whole setup is controlled through my tablet in my hands. And to see what's actually inside the backpack, we have to take a closer look. Here you see the inside of our 5G backpack. The heart and soul is the TSMA-6, our autonomous network scanner, basically using the TSME scanning hardware and having an Intel NUC PC that runs the Romus drive test software that collects the measurement results from this scanner. Uh, the scanning unit is connected to GPS to get a timestamp. And then in the back, we have here four batteries that enable the uh, mobile or portable operation. The TSMA-6 is complemented by our TSME-30DC. This is our down converter that supports, for instance, the 28 gigahertz uh, band. You see here the blue cable is basically to the connector, uh, to the antenna that is uh, supporting the millimeter wave frequency ranges. The second black cable is basically our antenna that supports the frequency ranges up to sub-6 gigahertz. And we can do switching inside so that we can simultaneously scan both frequency ranges with just one scanner unit. This is unique in the market. The interconnection between the both is uh, realized through this IF connection here, where we basically take the signal from the down converter into the TSMA and perform our analysis. So that's the actual hardware that we are utilizing to determine 5G in our coverage. In this form factor, targeting indoor and walk testing, um, before we see it actually in action in a demo setup, I would like to recap what type of signals we are measuring to determine 5G coverage. But this is another video in our video series, Demystifying 5G.